Hello and welcome to Everyday Mystic, an aid to your spiritual growth. One of the key concepts of P.D. Auspensky is the idea of shifting from internal to external considering. Understanding this concept and learning how to implement it into our daily lives can lead to profound changes in our perception and our interactions. Let's start with a simple understanding of internal and external considering. Internal considering refers to the way we filter and process our experiences solely based on our personal biases, desires, and fears. In essence, this is a self-centric viewpoint where we prioritize our feelings, perspectives, and interests above all else. While this may seem the natural order of things, it often limits our understanding of the world around us. On the other hand, external considering invites us to step outside of ourselves, to see things from other perspectives, and to consider the impact of our actions on others and the world at large. It asks us to move beyond our narrow viewpoints and grasp the interconnectedness of everything around us. It's not just about empathy or understanding, but rather, it's about a broader vision of our existence and our place in the universe. If you want a more in-depth discussion of these concepts I have a whole video on them. I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of this video. Now, you might be wondering how one might navigate this shift. Firstly, one must cultivate self-awareness. We should become more cognizant of our thought patterns, our responses, and our biases. It's about dissecting our motivations and understanding why we behave the way we do. Only when we fully comprehend our internal considering can we hope to move beyond it. So how do we foster self-awareness? by self-observation where we observe ourselves without judgment. We should look at our thoughts, feelings, and actions, as well as the views, opinions, attitudes, likes, dislike etc. that drive them, as if we are an impartial third party. It's not about condemnation or self-adulation, but simply about understanding. Once you've started to see these patterns, you'll recognize when your internal considering is influencing your judgment. Not beating oneself up is easier said than done though as, this process, you will inevitably encounter things that you don't like about yourself. Remember that this is part of the human condition, and thus shared with basically everyone else. It's just that you are becoming aware of what most people hide from themselves. A genuine wish to change will start to dissolve your patterns once you shed light on them. Be as patient as you can with yourself, do your best, and let God take care of the rest. The next step is the practice of perspective taking. This entails trying to view situations from the standpoint of others, or even from a neutral viewpoint. You might ask, how would this situation look if I were an outsider? How might the other person be feeling? While this might initially feel like an act of imagination, with practice, it can become a second nature. A psychological term that goes into this domain, even though it's not exactly the same, is theory of mind where we try to imagine what is going on inside another person. However, in our normal dysfunctionality, we often bring this back to ourselves, thinking about what others think about us, rather than how our words and actions affect them on the inside. And thus, we are back to internal considering. Therefore the third step, the cultivation of empathy, is crucial. An empathy that genuinely attempts to understand the feelings and experiences of others. Empathy encourages us to move beyond our egocentric viewpoints and truly consider the impact of our actions on others. As with so many things regarding our inner lives, this is something that we simply need to practice. We need to consciously direct our thoughts to these areas, instead of just allowing our thoughts to happen to us. Instead of asking yourself, what does this person think about me, ask how do my thoughts, words and actions affect this person. It is interesting to note that being an empath, i.e., having the ability to sense other people's emotions, doesn't necessarily make you empathetic. The final step is taking actions that reflect this external considering. It's not enough to just think differently, we must also behave differently. We should let this new understanding inform our actions, our responses, and our interactions. In doing so, we make the shift from internal to external considering tangible and real. In taking concrete action, our inner and outer lives also feed into each other, as we learn to shift our focus. Yet, in pursuing this shift, we should also be mindful of the potential pitfalls. There is a danger of losing oneself completely in the concerns of others, 
of not taking care of one's own needs. Hence, this shift should not be a complete denial of oneself, but rather a balancing act where we consider both ourselves and others. It's about transcending the dichotomy of self and others, and realizing our interconnectedness. We need to take measures to protect ourselves from predatory individuals, as well as from unwarranted demands from our surroundings in general. In this, we do well in remembering that external considering is about taking the whole into consideration. If we're busy being doormats for other people, we will not be effective where our actions truly matter in the grander scheme of things. We also must understand that this shift isn't about becoming someone else. It's about becoming a more considerate, understanding version of oneself. It's about expanding one's world, not abandoning it. However, when we scrutinize ourselves, it is natural to discover that most of who we think that we are is just arbitrary thought structures. Furthermore, this shift isn't a one-time event, but a journey. It's a process of continual growth and understanding. It's not about reaching a destination, but about embracing a new way of perceiving and interacting with the world. In conclusion, the move from internal to external considering, as advocated by Auspensky, is about widening our lens of perception. It's about stepping outside of our egocentric boxes. Through self-awareness, perspective-taking, empathy, and informed action, we can not only make the shift, but also navigate the potential pitfalls along the way. By engaging in this transformation, we become more thoughtful, considerate, and effective in our interactions with the world. We also foster a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. That's all for today. If you liked the video, hit the like button, as this helps the video to get noticed. Also, feel free to share it on social media and other places. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to the channel. I post content every day, and I do my best to always offer something valuable. Also, check out the description and comment section for more things that me and my wife are doing. Thank you for your time.